welcome back to another episode of Tales After Dark. This podcast is filled with scary stories, and we'll be diving deep into the world's most treacherous cult crimes. To submit a terrifying tale of your own, please email stories.talesafterdark at gmail.com. And make sure to follow TAD Podcast along on Reddit. Paranormal investigations and spooky adventures will soon be coming to the Tales After Dark YouTube channel. You can find those videos in all podcast episodes there, so don't forget to subscribe. This show is brought to you by the MW Network and produced by me, your host, Emma Dawn. Tales After Dark is made possible by our sponsors. The Home Bookkeeper Masterclass. The paranormal isn't my full-time gig. Outside of podcasting, I am a home bookkeeper. Check out how I was able to ditch the 9-to-5 and spend more time creating and doing all the spooky things I love by becoming a home bookkeeper. More information on my Home Bookkeeper Masterclass can be found on my company website, edjconsultinggroup.com, under Resources. Do you like to sip while you listen? Then sip with purpose by choosing One Hope Wines. One Hope is a Napa Valley wine company that has given back over $6 million to nonprofits. So put your wine to work by shopping One Hope Wine at onehopewine.com backslash my shop backslash mommy wines. And of course, don't forget to check out the Tales After Dark merch store on teespring.com. All sponsor links are always included in the show notes. Don't forget to check them out, but most importantly, and simply subscribe to the show. Leave a rating and review and share Tales After Dark with your friends. Welcome back to another episode of Tales After Dark. In this haunted history series, I will be covering some of Ireland's most notorious haunted castles, such as Loughless Hall, Weep Keep, Ballygally Castle, Kilkenny Castle, and more. Some of these structures and spirits even date back to the 12th century. In this series, I hope to help you learn a little bit of Ireland's vibrant history while sharing the ghostly tales that still walk some of Ireland's oldest halls. Some of these historic buildings have been turned into vacation destinations. Any trip and stay details will be included in the show notes below each episode. Maybe you'll be inspired to patron Ireland's most haunted castles for yourself. In this episode of Tales After Dark, Haunted Castles of Ireland series, I am excited to bring you Leap Keep. This 1250 common era keep is located right smack dab in the center of the island country in Offaly County. It was built by the O'Bannon clan, which according to Ancestry.com, I have a family connection to. So this story is especially intriguing for me to report on. And the property was originally called Leap of the O'Bannons. The keep was passed from father to son for generations before being traded to the O'Carroll clan. With countless murders by those who opposed them, rival families, and even within the family, punctuating the O'Carroll's brutal history at what would be called today a castle. By the mid-1600s, the castle moved into the hands of the Darby family, spearheaded by Jonathan Darby II, a Cromwellian soldier. Again, as it was the standard for the time, the castle's power was passed from father to son for years to come. Post-Darby's, another powerful clan, the Ryans, held the stronghold on this magnificent manner. Revenge, rivalry, and power played pivotal roles in shaping this castle's history. 
having lived long in the hands of those who swore allegiance to the British crown, the castle represented turbulence and pain for many Irish locals. The Irish War of Independence was a guerrilla war fought in Ireland from 1919 to 1921 between the Irish Republican Army and British forces. It was part of the Irish Revolutionary Period. As a result of this, the castle was unfortunately burned down in July 1922 in protest. Without a doubt, its history offers death and detriment beyond belief. Entire battalions have lost their lives here. Family members murdered family members. With all of this being said, it comes as no surprise that this is Ireland's most haunted house. Many ghosts are said to wander the corridors and endless archways of Leap Castle. This historic keep has such a spooky reputation that it has attracted paranormal investigators worldwide. It has even been featured on TV shows such as Scariest Places on Earth, Most Haunted, My Favorite, Ghost Hunters, and Ghost Adventures. The now burnt out shell of what remains of the chapel on the grounds of Leap Keep remains one of the most haunted settings in the estate. It is said that here, during the rule of the O'Carrolls, an awful murder occurred, where one of the sons killed his brother and a priest who was at the time performing mass in the chapel. And he did this all in order to gain power. Today, for many generations, there have been reports of light streaming from the barren windows at nightfall, the smell of burning rubber, and even the spirit of the murdered priest lurking in the stairwell. Since the burning in 1922, the priest's house remains nothing but a derelict ruin. Apparitions, however, have been sighted long before it was set aflame. Even Mildred Darby, a former resident of Leap Castle, cites the paranormal activity. There is something heavy that lies on people's beds and snores, and they feel the weight of a great body pressing against them in the room of the priest's house. Another quote, a monk with a tonsor and a cowl walks in at one window and out the other in the priest's house again. The ghosts of two little girls can often be spotted playing in the main hall. They are said to have lived on the estate during the 1600s. Emily died at the young age of 11 after falling from the castle's battlements. Today, there are still sightings of the little girl falling from great heights, only to disappear before reaching the ground. Charlotte is seen dragging a deformed leg throughout the home's halls. The governess, also referred to as the nanny, is also seen often alongside Emily and Charlotte. There is also a ghost of a woman who wonders today, having been murdered by a member of the brutal family in the 1500s. Sightings usually account for a terrified woman who is spotted wearing little clothing. She screams twice before disappearing into thin air. A said spirit of an old man has been spotted on occasion sitting in a comfy armchair, enjoying the heat in front of the main hall's grand fireplace. Another apparition which haunts this castle to this day is the Red Lady. There have been sightings of this gorgeous ghost for centuries. She is said to roam in a long red dress, tall and lean, with a long flowing brown locks. The Red Lady is always seen carrying a dagger, hand raised in a menacing manner. The story goes that the woman was captured by one of the O'Carroll clan 
raped and became pregnant. On delivering the baby, the O'Carrolls killed the child with a blade. In absolute despair, the woman grabbed the knife and ended her life too. She is said to lure in men with her beauty before a sharp pain begins to ache in their chest, possibly getting revenge for errors due long ago. This spirit predates many families of Leap Castle. Some suggest the apparition named the Elemental potentially dates back to the time of the Druids, when sorcery would have been used to protect sacred land on which Leap Castle was built. Others say that Gerald Prince Gerald, Earl of Kildar, an accomplished magic practitioner, in a bid to take the castle, is responsible for the spirit. Either way, it is said the elemental is a menacing and sinister presence who only makes itself known to those who provoke it. Today, Sean Ryan and family privately own the castle. Although they greatly confirm the supernatural presences which reside in the home alongside with them, they also have expressed that no sinister apparitions have been experienced during their tenure. Those with an interest in visiting one of the most haunted houses in Ireland can contact Sean Ryan directly for private tours of Leap Castle. What do you think of these reportings? Do you believe in magic? What about the lady in red? What an awful story. Or on a happier note, What about the two little girls who are living their afterlife with somebody that was so close to them? If you ever go on a trip or if you are in the Ireland area and you have visited Leap Keep, definitely let me know. If you're listening on YouTube, go ahead, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Would you take a tour? Do you believe in ghosts? Have you seen a ghost? Have you been here? Let me know. If you're listening along on a podcast platform, go ahead and make sure to leave a rating and review. It really helps out the show. And until next time, stay spooky.